how do I stretch a muscle after it's been injected with Botox? By the way, Botox is a brand name, I think. There are other kinds. We're talking about injections into a muscle for the treatment of high muscle tone, also known as spasticity, using botulinum toxin. This question was posted on the channel by a viewer this week, so it's a pleasure to try and answer. I hope the person who left the question is watching, and perhaps they'll notice the little reply that I made asking which muscles have been injected, because it is a wee bit different. Until I hear back, I'm just going to put up a general reply and a simple example, an example that I hope can be applied to, within reason, any muscle in the body that might be injected with botulinum toxin. So let's have a look at a straightforward example and let's hope that, uh, that we get some more detail back from viewers about what they want. In the UK, the most common reason for injecting a muscle with botulinum toxin is to help a person regain flexibility, generally enough ability to perhaps open a very tight super closed hand to be able to open it in order to be able to wash and care for skin on the inside of the palm. Frequently we find that people who've got an awful lot of tightness do have the ability to attempt to increase grip. And if that's the case, then you can use one of the best methods for stretching muscle, which is to say, you look at this one over here that pulls the thumb in, it's easiest to see, uh, it's easiest to see in film. So the thumb tends to over contract over towards the little finger. If you can get your finger of your other hand to hold that and then try and pull against it, start to induce some fatigue and then when you stop trying the muscle may stretch further. After botulinum toxin injections it's really worth having a good go at stretching for a period of six to ten weeks. After that, most clinicians would say that any effect of the injection has slowed and stopped and that first couple of months is the most critical time after an injection. It's unlikely that you'll be able to open your hand this far so that we might start with the thumb a lot more curled it might be stuck in a position like this probably fingers will be as well so can it be stretched out try to force it inwards resisting with the good hand until fatigue so usually six seven eight nine seconds and then when you let go can it be stretched to a better position? And that's the beginnings of a stretch program after Botox or botulinum toxin.